here at the 9th Annual Reno Ukulele Festival. Uh, this is my second year coming back as both an instructor and a performer. And I want to say a big mahalo out to uh, Doug Reynolds who does an amazing job with this festival. He's been doing this for nine years now and if you ever get a chance you have to check this place out. It's one of the biggest, if not the biggest ukulele festivals in the entire country and definitely one of my favorite festivals to be a part of. Here at the Reno Nugget, you can see right there, right in back of me, set the stage a little bit. Uh, the festival consists of a giant central area where all the vendors are situated uh, in the middle and along the perimeter there are breakout rooms where about 15 or so instructors uh, go out and they do their uh, classes and I'm one of those instructors. Uh, this year I taught a Hawaiian Kanekapila class and uh, the first the first day I had about 50 plus students and it was amazing. I've been doing this for uh, two years now consecutively and uh, hands down one of my favorite festivals to be a part of. I'm gonna go inside and talk to a few of my friends who are ukulele luthiers, uh, ukulele business owners and we're gonna go ahead and see uh, what kind of products that they have available for sale on the inside. Come on inside with me. This is Joe uh, at the Reno Ukulele Festival, Blackbird Guitars and Ukuleles. Here is our Farallon. Really psyched that Stephen had a chance to play it on stage uh, here. <laughs> Attracted a big crowd, no less. This is uh, our standard low G stringing, and we've got the sound port for the first time shown publicly. Works really well with the, uh, the low G, and you know, you get to look inside the instrument now. You can just zone out and you see all the carbon fiber in there that's reinforcing the, the soundboard um, and uh, but every everything else is pretty much the same we found that sounds great low G and, and the sound port sound great together so that's that one and then let's see what else do we got this is our first uh, sunburst high gloss sunburst beautiful and uh, thanks it's kind of you it's you know really uh, turns this thing into like a piece of eye candy in a different kind of way. Um, you know, we say these instruments don't need a secondary finish. It's not bad to have one, of course. Um, so this kind of shows that Blackbird can do different custom options if people want it, either through our dealers or through their custom shop. Uh, really beautiful uh, finish on that one. And then, last but not least, we do make guitars, right? So. It's a little sacrilege to bring a guitar to the ukulele <laughs> festival. I've not been uh, stoned or anything for that. Um, maybe I should be, but anyway. So this is our new Savoy that we launched at the NAMM show uh, just two months ago. It's the only one in existence. And um, if you just, this guitar came out, the first one came out sounding, basically ready to sell. And um, it's a really, you know, it's a small, a single O or just a bit bigger than a parlor, but it fits in a three-quarter scale case. So it's really the culmination of 10 years of research into how to make a small guitar feel like a big guitar. Full scale, full access at the 12th fret, with the cutaway here. And then just the sound is like at least like an OM. I mean, just so warm, so rich. So, uh, you know, El Capitan, the big brother over here, this guy, this is a small drummer. This took us three years to figure out. And Savoy came out good. The first the first one came out well. So uh, what can I say? We learned something making these ones, I suppose. And uh, and frankly, making the other instruments as well. So that's a, that's a good tour. Um, and you know, come visit us, blackbirdguitar.com. And uh, thanks for doing the video. See you then. Cool. Thanks, Joe. All right, I'm Devin here with Tide Music. This is our 100th custom oh. ukulele. It's a big body tenor with some nice koa on the back. The sinker redwood. Nice beveled edges here. And a tribal inspired inlay with uh, myrtle and rosewood. Yeah. Check out the edge here. stoked on this. This is our latest creation here. We called it a uh, Orca. It's got a black fish on it. It's the Pale Moon Ebony here from Lao. Bear Claw Spruce top. Nice uh, slotted headstock. 
kind of a different design we're doing on that. Three dot load. Drain kind of follows up the fretboard, side markers. I love the sound hole on the side. Yeah, the monitor hole, sniffing hole we like to call it. it smells fresh. This one, kind of stoked on that too. This guy here is our 100% um, reclaimed model. This came from a Tahoe here. We preserved the texture that has been weathered over the years. We even stuck a little piece of lichen in there. There's another one over there. Yeah. Check out the live edge uh, bridge and uh, neck as well. Got no sound hole on the top, but we got a side sound port there. And then we. Also put one here in the cutaway, nice. so you can kind of aim it when you're playing. This one's a 19-inch um, scale tenor. Space ukuleles and coffee booth at the Reno Ukulele Fest, uh, ninth annual. Um, we have a, a brick and mortar store in downtown Los Angeles, located in Little Tokyo. We're in the JACCC building. Um, easy to find, lots of landmarks around. We carry a wide variety of ukuleles. Um, carry a lot of the top wine brands: Kanilea, Koaloha, Kamaka. Um, also into um, some unique designs of ukuleles. Uh, companies like Blackbird doing carbon fiber and e koa all sustainable materials, um, and also uh, Romero Creations, where they're doing uh, tiny tenor designs. Tenor scale neck, uh, overall length is the same as a concert. Um, we also serve coffee. So if you like coffee, or you like ukuleles, if you visit, uh, I'll be making you a coffee, or Patrice will be making you a coffee. We'll also play some tunes together, uh, and just jam out and have a good time. So mahalo and hope to see you guys in LA or at the next Ukulele Festival. Hi, I'm Ken Franklin from Ukiah, California, and I make uh, ukuleles and I also make guitars. And um, you know, it's uh, my big deal about making ukuleles is to make a real sensitive instrument that people really want to play, and it encourages them to uh, get better as they play. So that's my thing. Show off uh, a couple of your instruments. Okay, sure. And uh, these have a lot of uh, individual handmade rosettes and uh, real uh, unusual, unique woods. Yeah, and, the, the black here. Oh, that's beautiful. That's a black and white ebony one. Yeah, I Oh, this is Alaskan yellow cedar, and that one's an incense cedar. Uh, that but is a lot of times, mostly spruce or softwood top. Okay. Yeah. I haven't. You know, I, I just like the response up the neck a little bit better for the soft the top. Yeah, yeah. But that's not always the case. Can we talk about this fretless one right here? Okay, this one's a fretless one that uh, was made for a fellow who, uh, who, who wants to be able to, uh, to play uh, kind of old time music with it. So it's like a banjo, but it's it's quieter. It's it's really similar to a gourd banjo. Jesse would play you a little bit. Here. Yeah, I would love, I'd love uh, to hear a little okay, bit. Okay, yeah, here's like a standard old time tune. Okay. But in a different tuning.
folks, this is Dominator here from Dominator Ukulele, and I'm playing one of my sopranos here at the Reno Ukulele Festival. This one's actually still available. I've sold three instruments. Still have this beautiful little soprano, western red cedar top with uh, koa back and sides. That's available. And this wonderful tenor. This one sold. This right? one sold before I got it off the off the stand. Well, I put a low G on this one. That's me. That's a real warm sound. Very mellow. And this is out of uh, Honduran figured mahogany. Believe it or not. Oh, really? It looks, I, it looks like koa. I know. It, yeah. It's just the, the figure, and it's crazy. I haven't seen it like that before. But this is my uh, first time exhibiting my ukuleles publicly. Um, we moved here in July, it'll be two years, and so uh, I'm focusing during the week on building ukuleles, and then uh, I perform on the weekends. Still going over the pass to, towards Newcastle, Auburn, the wineries, and performing, but uh, if you need a custom ukulele, you know, look me up. You know, you can um, find me at, on Facebook, you know, Dominator and Friends, or by my name, Dominic Piernunzio. You can find me on Facebook there, and uh, you can email me at dominatorook at gmail.com. Thank you, Dom. Thank you. Aloha, thank you so much for tuning into this episode. Be sure to subscribe in the link below, and uh, I'll see you on the next episode of Geek Life. Aloha. Hello, everybody. My name is Steven Smiola. Thank you for coming to Gig Life. I'm here at the ninth annual Reno Ukulele Festival. It's freezing. <laughs> you can see my breath right here. And I didn't bring a jacket out here.